ladies and gentlemen, it's been a very long time since I last did one of these, but I finally have a new TFTC video for you, and it's to announce the release of the 1.3.3 patch, as well as other updates that have been happening since. This new patch will bring TFTC up to date with the recent XWAU 5.6.2 patch that was released back in May, and will also introduce a bunch of bug fixes, balance updates, and even some new updates. Let's quickly go through what you can expect to see in this patch. A brand new main concourse screen. This was showcased some months ago, but didn't quite make it into 1.3.2 at the time. Now though, you can fully enjoy this updated visual feast in 1.3.3. The concourse will show new animations and backgrounds, depending on your current progress in the campaign. New and updated models have been added, including the new revamped Imperial One Class Star Destroyer, and the addition of several new ships, including the Predator-class Star Destroyer, which will be Zarin's new flagship for TFTC Reimagined, and the Valiant-class Cruiser, which will serve as a flagship for the Nami faction, and is based on the Venator Star Destroyer. The inclusion of Zarin's new flagship has meant that some minor changes have been made to Reimagined to account for this, wherever the Imperial 2-class Star Destroyer Glory previously showed up. The Glory will instead be first introduced as this new ship in Battle 6 Mission 4 Reimagined, whereas previous appearances of the Glory in Reimagined will simply now be a different Star Destroyer. You will also find that the new Valiant Cruiser is also in Battle 6 Mission 4, replacing the Venator that was previously there. But don't worry, the Venators will still be showing up later in future Reimagined missions. Ray Tracing Yes, the wizards of the XWAU team have added ray tracing to the game. This further improves the visuals, but at the expense of performance, so make sure your system is capable of handling it. By default, it is disabled, but you can enable it by going to the Babu Frick configurator from the launcher under the Ray Tracing checkbox. Gimbal Lock Fix This issue has plagued all versions of the engine from the original X-Wing to X-Wing Alliance. What is this Gimbal Lock issue, you ask? Well, you may have noticed that when you're flying directly up or down to the poles of the skybox, particularly when chasing enemy targets, it suddenly feels like you're fighting your controls to stay straight and steady, almost as if a magnet is pushing you away. Basically, the game is programmed to use pitch, yaw, and roll as defined axes. Based on how the numbers crunch down, if any of the axes overlap on the same plane, gimbal lock will occur, and so your craft ends up pushing away from the direction you're trying to go in. Well, I'm happy to say that this issue has finally been fixed, by rewriting this function of the flight mechanics. Along with these changes, you can also expect to see new explosion visuals and hopefully some noticeable improvements to both VR and non-VR performance levels. A full list of all changes made can be viewed on our website via the change log section, which is also included in the patch download itself. A brand new completely rewritten installation tutorial has also been posted along with this announcement. This tutorial should better address and explain things than the previous versions, including a more expanded approach to VR and other more common issues people tend to face. To install the patch, make sure you restore your current version of TFTC back to XWAU by using the Palpatine Total Converter to restore the light side, and then run the installer and follow its instructions. If you are new to the mod and installing from a fresh copy, then make sure you first install version 1.3. You don't need to install any of the older TFTC patches first, as 1.3.3 contains all the updates since the initial release of version 1.3. If in any doubt, please take a look at the aforementioned new tutorial video that has been posted to my channel for further details. So what else has been going on these past few months, you may ask? Well, work is slowly continuing on finishing the reimagined campaigns. Battles 9 and 10 are now fully playable in their entirety and have been under beta testing and Battle 11 is well on course to becoming fully playable by the end of August. This then just leaves Battles 12 and 13 to finish, which I'm hoping will be done by late autumn or at the end of 2023. It's slow going, but as my scope is much bigger than previous battles, the increased narrative complexity, and the fact that I'm the only one designing and making these missions, it will take time, but I really hope it will be worth the wait. Aside from mission creation, we've also been working on designing new high-definition concourse screens for every room. On your screen you can see examples of current work in progress scenes, including the new pilot's room and an updated briefing room, giving you even more immersion as we can also tie in more cutscenes and animations to them. We are also considering our options for remaking all the cutscenes using in-game footage for exterior shots and then 3D interiors created specifically for the cutscene with some character interactions. If we think we can pull this off well enough, I will probably be adding a lot of new cutscenes as well as remaking the existing ones for Reimagined, as I believe it's a much better way to give additional context and flavour to the narrative versus just relying on the giant walls of text we're forced to use in the briefings. 
if and when we get a concept ready, I will post it publicly for further feedback from the community. And that pretty much covers it for this update. I will be back in the future, of course, with new updates as I have them, and I promise I'll try to get back to doing some development live streams, which I've not done for a few months now. You can also check out my Let's Play series I've been doing with various Star Trek games lately, if you're interested in that sort of thing. So, until next time, pilots, fly safe.